Community ISD has called for a bond election on May the 7th for $650 million. The district went through a process of putting together a committee to look at our long-range facility planning. This committee consisted of staff members, community members, and parents. We met several months during the fall semester to talk about what the needs were for our district and what the next step was. Community ISD is growing. Over the next 10 years, CISD expects a student enrollment to reach 10,452 students. At semester, the total student enrollment was 3,479. In addition, CISD expects 7,500 new homes in the next five years to be over capacity at all campuses within two years and 6,000 total students within five years. Our total capacity of our current buildings is 4,000 students. There are three propositions for our bond proposal. Proposition A is $595,604,000. That includes four new elementary schools, number four and number six on the west side of the district, number seven and number five on the east side of the district, two new middle schools, number two on the west side and number three on the east side, Additions to our high school, including a second academic wing that would get our capacity up to 2,100 high school students. Expanding the cafeteria, additional CTE spaces, and an expanded fine arts area. It also includes renovations to McClendon and Neesmith Elementary campuses, a new ag facility, new support facilities, additions and renovations, land purchases, and a project manager for all of the projects included in this bond scope. Proposition B is $19,338,000. This proposition includes stadium upgrades, a press box, restrooms, additional seating capacity, and required ADA renovations, as well as additional parking for schools and athletic events. Proposition C, in the amount of $35,058,000, would be for a multi-purpose indoor facility. This indoor facility would include a full-length field with locker rooms and classrooms inside the building. This building could be utilized for extracurricular activities, including dance, teams, campus events, field days, football, PE, band, cheer, soccer, track, and anything else that our district would need for having events inside during inclement weather or for conditioned space. A school district's tax rate is comprised of two components, the maintenance and operation tax, the m &O, and the interest and sinking tax, the INS. The m and rate is used to operate the school district, including salaries, utilities, furniture, supplies, food, gas, etc. The INS rate is used to pay off school construction bonds. Bond sales are the only thing that affect the INS rate. There will be no increase to the 50 cent INS tax rate that the school district currently has. Whether the bond passes or fails, the school district will maintain that 50 cent INS rate. If the school district is saying that this is not a tax rate increase, why will the voting ballot say this is a property tax increase? This requirement was part of new laws coming from Austin after the legislative session in 2019. The Texas legislature wanted the ballot language to be clear that voted bonds were the method that we use to finance school construction. Paying for these voted bonds requires tax revenues. There will be no tax rate increase associated with this bond, but it will continue the existing tax rate. The new law requires every district in Texas to include this language on the ballot, regardless of the expected tax rate to be set. Community ISD wants every voter that goes to the poll on May the 7th to be an informed and educated voter. If you have further questions or if you need this information in Spanish, please visit our website at communityisdbond.com.